This is Matthew Cratters, Bitcoin University. Today, I want to talk about running Bitcoin knots on a Start9 personal server. But first, why run a Bitcoin node? Because if you don't run your own node, then you're not a self-sovereign Bitcoiner. You're just a second-class citizen who's forced to rely on other people who do run Bitcoin nodes. If you don't run your own Bitcoin node, then you need to trust other people to verify that your Bitcoin is real. You need someone else's permission to send your Bitcoin. You need someone else to check to see if you've received it any Bitcoin, and the whole time you're leaking privacy because the public node that you're connecting to can see all of your Bitcoin transactions. Running a Bitcoin node also allows you to pick sides in the event of a soft fork, rather than letting Coinbase or Ledger or another corporation pick sides for you. Now, Bitcoin Core node software has traditionally been the best way to run a Bitcoin node using Bitcoin Core node software. And until recently, that's the software that 99% of node runners used. That all changed, however, in 2025 when Bitcoin Core developers forced through a software update that a lot of Bitcoiners didn't like, and thus began the great exodus away from Bitcoin Core to Bitcoin Knots. So at the beginning of 2025, there are only about 435 Bitcoin Knots nodes. And today, as I'm recording this a year later, there are over 5,000 nodes, which is approximately 20, 22% of the network. It's also recently been revealed that Bitcoin Core software development processes are not nearly as careful and conservative as we once believed. That's what I've been covering in the last two days of video. Bitcoin Core deleting wallets here and Bitcoin Core not filtering bugs. So if you want to run a Bitcoin node and finally become a self-sovereign Bitcoiner, but you don't want to have to deal with Bitcoin Core's buggy code that might accidentally delete all of your Bitcoin wallets, then you should consider running Bitcoin Knots. That's the node software that I use for all of my Bitcoin activities. You can download it for free and run it on a desktop or laptop, but a much better way, as I'm going to show you, is to run it using a personal server. What's the easiest way to run Bitcoin Knots using a personal server? If money is an issue, you can just buy yourself a Start9 personal server. Also, anyone can easily build one, as we'll discuss in a moment, and I'll provide some links and resources for that. My Start9 personal server, it's really been the best purchase that I made in the past two years, and I use it every single day with my Bitcoin and other apps. I'm not being paid or compensated in any way to recommend them. I'm just a happy customer that uses this every day. And when your personal server arrives from Start9, it's really easy to set up. You just plug it into an electrical outlet, and then you plug it into your home router using an ethernet cable. You then access the server and all of its apps like the Bitcoin Knot software using your laptop or desktop computer via browser like Brave or Firefox. It's really easy to set up and Start9 offers lifetime support and forum access for everyone who buys a server from them. So I'll put a link to their store here. You can see that they offer something called the Server One, which is the one that I have, and then the Server Pure. And right now they're running a holiday sale still, so it looks like a good time to get one. The Server One, as I said, this is the one I have. If I were buying it again, I'd get the two terabytes and 16 gigs of RAM. You can go up to four terabytes of storage if you want to spend the money or up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. But I think two terabytes, Bitcoin blockchain is currently less than one terabyte. So I think future proofing by getting spending uh, getting two terabytes is fine. 16 gigabytes of RAM should be enough as well. If money's no object, object, you might as well get 32 gigs and have everything run a little bit faster. As we can see here, purchase includes a lifetime membership to start nine support. And you can see all of the specs here. I'll put a link to this in the description notes below. And then you have the server pure, which has the additional benefit that they've removed core boot firmware and the Intel management engine. And so they've disabled some of the deep down hardware parts or the, the firmware that runs even on these chips to make it even more private. This may be overkill, but if you're, if you're very, very serious about privacy, uh, that would be the one that you can go with. And again, I would go with two terabytes and 16 gigs. I'll put a link to the Start9 documentation here, the different device guides, how to use it with Linux, Mac, or Windows. And I'll pause really briefly here. If you're finding this video helpful so far, I'd ask you just to help to support this channel's educational mission. Hit the subscribe button. That does really help. Leave a like, leave a comment, question, suggestion for a future video, and share this video with a friend or family member. Now, if you don't have the money to buy a Start9 server, or you do like and prefer do-it-yourself projects, you can also build your own Start9 server, as I said, by flashing the Start9 operating system onto any mini PC. 
and Start9 is available. Start OS is available for free from the GitHub. I'll put a link to this in the description notes below. You can see Welcome to the Era of Sovereign Computing. Start OS is an open source Linux distribution optimized for running a personal server. This is something not a lot of people know about, that you can run your own server, something I've only discovered in the past few years because I wanted to do this for my Bitcoin, but it's really, really cool when you get into it. So you can join the personal server revolution. I'll put a link to a number of tutorials, this one from Bitcoin Not Crypto, talking about how to install Start OS on a $300 mini PC. A couple similar videos here. Paul Lamb has a number of really good videos uh, about doing a do your do it yourself Start Nine server and how to set up Bitcoin knots on that. Here's how to set up a Start Nine uh, or how to build your own Start Nine server pure, which was the more expensive option here, and he shows you how to do it yourself and so save some money. Also how to run Start OS virtually in a virtual machine on your existing computer. And then I also put a link to this link from Plan B Academy about Start9 and how to set up everything. And it links to some tutorials, including this one from Southern Bitcoiner, how to set up your Start9 tutorial, uh, how to set up your Start9 personal server. So there are lots and lots of great resources available for free here. And then Satoshi21 really has the definitive YouTube video on how to configure it. If you're interested in configuring your own mempool policy and all the different Bitcoin knots, knobs that you can use to filter out spam Etc. And she does a great job of going into that. So I'll put a link to all this in the description notes below. When you finally get your server set up and connected to your router, and then of course, obviously I'm on a desktop here that's connected to my home internet. You can see here what it looks like. I'm running Bitcoin knots. I'm running a Lecter's Rust server to index everything so I can use this with my Sparrow wallet, which I'll show you guys how to do in a later video. I'm running my own instance of Mempool and there are a number of other apps here that allow you to set up, for example, Lightning Payment channel. So this is what it looks like. And again, I'm accessing this just through my browser. And then my Start9 server is plugged into my home router in a different different room of the house. This also allows you to mine Bitcoin at home. You just have to buy a BitAx. So I'll put a link to this video in the description notes below that shows you how to use Datum Gateway, Bitcoin Knots, and a BitAx uh, miner to do lottery mining or ocean mining at home using your Bitcoin Knots uh, node software and your Start9 server. There's some weirdness around seeing Bitcoin Core and Bitcoin Knots icons sometimes in the current version of Start OS, which is 0.3.5 version 1. This is all going to be solved as I understand it in the update to the operating system that's coming soon in Start, Start OS 0.4.0. Also, if you're worried about opening up port 8333, Start9 runs, as I understand it, runs completely over Tor until the new operating system version 0.4. So opening port 8333 on your router will not do anything to make your, your basically already being counted in the node count here if you're running a Start9 server. If you're running Bitcoin Core on your Start9 personal server, I'll put a link to this that shows you how to migrate to Bitcoin Knots. And then there are a number of other different solutions for running a Bitcoin Knots node that are also quite interesting. I haven't used these yet, but they're quite reputable and I've spoken with many people who have used them. Parma Knots is a great uh, way of doing this where Parma Knots mini, mini PC, he also has some versions of this running on laptops. So that's at Parma Node. Dot com. Then there's also MyNode and Umbro. So lots of lots of different solutions here and lots of people beginning to run, especially Bitcoiners beginning to run personal servers so they can take control of their money and really be their own bank using these open, soft, open source software and the various apps that are available on Start9. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.